Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about the Flapjacks T-Tux multi-tool push-up and clip two-tone from Tail and Knives. Let's check it out. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a nice close-up of the Flapjacks T-Tux multi-tool push-up and clip from Tail of Knives here. That is a mouthful. But while you guys are checking this out, Let's talk about some of the features. So the Flapjacks here is an EDC organizer you can clip right to your belt. And it can handle certain multi-tools, pens, and even your flashlights. And it's available in three different colors. A solid black, a two-toned dark brown leather, and the version that I have right here, a two-toned medium brown leather. And if you go with any of the two-toned brown leather versions, the pen pocky here will always be solid black. It's all handcrafted using Wicket and Craig full grain leather, and it's made right here in the USA. All right, so let's start talking about the Flapjacks here. So it has a pretty long name, the Flapjacks T-Tux Multi-Tool Push-Up and Clip in Two Tones. So I'm just gonna call it the flapjacks from here on out. So let's determine if this is the right EDC organizer for you because when I first saw this, I wasn't sure if it was right for me either. But that all changed when I finally got this into my hands and started carrying it. So this isn't my first time carrying anything from Taylor Knives. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with them, I would check them out because they make very, very high quality gear. So let me give you guys a little bit closer of a look here. You can see all that hand stitching here. Everything is all handcrafted, made right here in the USA. And the full grain leather that they use here feels really nice. It's not a super soft leather. Um, it actually has some stiffness to it. But I almost prefer that considering this is going to be carrying your gear right on your belt. So as you can see here, this is the two-tone medium brown. The two-tone version has the pen pocket right here in black. And I love the contrast between this medium brown and that solid black there. And the multi-tool pocket has a single strap with a snap on it to keep your multi-tool firmly locked into place. And then you can see the size of the flashlight pocket and the pen pocket right here. Um, I'm gonna be going over exactly what can fit in here coming up very, very shortly. Now I'll turn it to the back side, give you guys a nice look at this clip. This clip can fit belts up to one and three quarter inches in size. And this clip has a lot of tension on it. It feels really strong. I had no worries at all that this was gonna ever fall off my belt when I was wearing it. And it has a pretty long lip right here at the end of the clip you can see how far that clip sticks out right there which is really good if you're trying to get your finger up under there but this is one of my negatives about this EDC organizer here is it's so long that when I was wearing it, it was actually digging into my hip. Now, I guess that all depends on the thickness of your jeans, if this is going to dig into your hip or not, but I was just wearing normal Duluth jeans and this thing was killing me on some occasions, but I was also wearing it for about 13 hours to 14 hours straight. But other than that small little complaint, I do like the fact that I can get my finger under there pretty easy to lift up that clip considering how much tension there is on it. And then getting back to the front here, I do like this little cutout right here to push up whatever multi-tool that you might have in there. Makes it extremely easy to push up the multi-tool and grab it out of the top. And I'm a big fan of very minimal branding and I do like the minimal branding here, just the K, the Tale of Knives logo right there on the leather strap there. And just to wrap up the aesthetics here, I do appreciate how they have the medium brown with the black thread and then the black leather right here with the brown thread. I really like that choice. All right, so now we're gonna start going over what Leatherman multi-tools can fit inside of the multi-tool holster here. So I have all of my Leathermans inside of this organized pouch here and the first thing I wanted to show you was yeah it definitely fits my Leatherman signal and this was a big surprise for me because this is a fairly large Leatherman and I just wanted to mention Tale of Nye's suggests that you take off all the pocket clips but on the signal here this pocket clip is so flat it basically fits perfectly if I turn it the other way just like that stick it in all the way and snaps right up. So I was very impressed that this could fit the signal even with the pocket clip on. Let's try the Leatherman Wave. This is the Leatherman Wave, not the Plus. And without the pocket clip on there, if I push it down, yeah, there you go, snaps up. 
it fits. So the wave is fairly large, so that's why I said I appreciate this little cutout on the bottom to be able to push up because it's pretty tight in there, but definitely fits. And some of these might be obvious, like the Skeletool. I just wanted to show you that, yeah, definitely fits in there. Actually, very, very nice, in fact. The next Leatherman here is the Leatherman Bond, and this is the one I've been carrying with this because it fits so nice in there. It was almost like this EDC organizer was made for the Bond. So that's very cool. And then the next one here is the Leatherman Curl. And I did have to take off the pocket clip here because it wouldn't fit with it on. But as you can see, without the pocket clip, fits like a glove. And now the next one, this is the Leatherman Wingman. And I'm gonna show you guys, yeah, it does fit even with the pocket clip on. So turn it around backwards. And as you can see, even with the pocket clip on, fits nice. And now the next one here was a surprise to me. This is the Leatherman Free K2. And without the pocket clip on, you can see, fits right in there. Now I know it's not exactly made to fit this, but it does snap up. But you can see on the bottom here, it is kind of fitting a little bit weird, but just wanted to show you, yeah, it does fit the Free K2. Getting it out is a little weird because of the locking mechanism, but Technically it fits. And now for the two I wasn't so sure about, this is the Leatherman Free P4 right here. And there is no pocket clip on it. And let's insert it this way. And as you can see, very snug, but definitely fits the P4. And then last but not least, I still have a couple other Leathermans here, but they're not the traditional multi-tools right here. This is the Charge Titanium without the pocket clip and this is fairly large and heavy, and as you can see, wow, takes a little bit of effort, but it definitely fits in there, but it fills that pocket out like crazy. So if you guys have a Charge or the Charge Titanium, yeah, it fits. All right, so now let's test out the flashlights here. On the website, it says it can fit flashlights up to 0.91 inches in diameter. Um, and it gives examples like the Phoenix PD25, the Olight S2R Baton 2, the Baton Pro, the Warrior Mini 2, and so on and so forth. It also says the M1T Raider, which was really interesting because I just so happened to have the Olight M1T Raider Plus right here. And I went to grab it because I barely use this light and to stick it in there, even with the pocket clip on, look at that fits perfectly. And there's even some room to spare in there. So it gives you a nice idea what size flashlights can fit in this flashlight pocket here. And I also suggest leaving the clip on because otherwise it's just gonna fall right through. Unless you have certain flashlights with larger heads, I'm gonna demonstrate that a little bit later on when I get there. So you can see it fits the M1T Raider Plus pretty nice. So here is the Olight Baton Pro. And yes, as you'd expect, it does fit pretty nice. A little bit more snug than the Raider there, as you can see, but definitely fits. Now here's a flashlight I just wanted to demonstrate that won't fit is the Claris X-T2 CR Pro. I just did a review on this and the tail switch here is just a little bit too thick to fit. So if you have flashlights this size, just know it won't fit inside of the flapjacks here. But what light will fit is the Phoenix E28R EDC flashlight. Love this light. Um, you do have to take off the pocket clip here just because of how it's designed. But as you can see, it fits in there really nice and will not fall through just because the head here is larger than the body. And now the one light that I've been carrying inside the flapjacks the most is the Olight Warrior Mini 2 without the pocket clip. And once again, it fits so perfectly and will not fall through just because of the size of the head here. And in my opinion, this is almost the perfect flashlight to carry in here. It's just super easy to take out, super easy to put in and won't fall through. I mean, it's just a perfect size for it. And you can see what I mean here. It almost fits it like a glove. That leather was almost made for this exact flashlight. And now one more example of a flashlight that will not fit is the Olight M2R Warrior Pro here. And just to demonstrate, yeah, the tail switch is just a little bit too large to fit in the opening. So 
Flashlights of this size, this exact flashlight just won't fit in here. All right, now let's start talking about what pens can fit in the pen pocket here. And the first pen I want to demonstrate here is the Machine Era Markup, as you can see here. Now, Tale of Knives suggests that you use one piece pens, not something with a removable cap, which makes sense because once it's in the pocket, if you try pulling it out, the cap might come off and then get lodged in there and just become a pain in the butt. So of course, this has a screw on cap. It's almost perfect and as you can see, if I lift up the pocket clip there, fits absolutely perfectly. Now next here I have the Tactile Turn Bolt Action Titanium Pen. This is one of the short versions and you can see it's a little bit thicker than normal, but yeah, fits pretty nice. Now you think I can keep pushing it down because all the room I have there on the pocket clip, but because it's the bolt action, that bolt is getting caught on the leather there. So just keep that in mind if you have the short version of the tactile turn. Now I also have the standard version right here. Now this is the standard version bronze tactile turn pen bolt action. And let's see if you run into the same problem. Yeah, absolutely. The bolt's getting caught right there on that pocket, which I think is fine. But as you can see, the standard version hangs down just a little bit longer than I would like. So I think this short version at 5.1 inches, yeah, 5.1 inches hangs down almost perfectly. It doesn't even hang down below that multi-tool pocket right there. All right, next, let's test out the Essential Precision Products copper pen, the bolt action pen. Let's see if we have the same issue with that bolt right there. And this is a lot longer than the other pens. And yeah, these bolt action pens, well actually look at that. It's fitting perfectly in there. So if I slide it down, oh wow, that fits actually very nice. Now this is sort of an anomaly here because you can see just based on the positioning of that bolt and the pocket clip, it's lining up perfectly with that little gap in the leather. That's crazy. Even so, it's still hanging down a little farther than I like, almost like the standard tactile turn pen. And now let's test out the Olight O-Pen here. And this is extremely thick and I haven't tried this yet. I'm just curious to see if it fits. And, oh man. Yeah, if I jam it in there, it'll fit. This is just such a thick pen. Um, I don't want to jam it in there and stretch out this leather too much. So I would say technically it can fit if I wanted to jam this in there, but I don't want to do that. So I would say pens like the Machine Era markup here and the Tactile Turn short at 5.1 inches, these are almost perfect size pens for the flapjacks here. And you can see the differences in sizes if I hold them up side by side right there. Now they do make different versions of the flapjacks here. There is a mini version of this and it can handle much smaller flashlights such as the Olight i5T. Tale of Knives also makes a version where you can thread your belt through it. But for me personally, I'm not really a fan of those. I like to be able to take this off whenever I want. Like I said, if you guys haven't checked out Tale of Knives, head over to their website. I'll have all that information down below in my description box. And check these guys out. They do some excellent, excellent work. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Flapjacks T-Tux multi-tool push-up and clip in two-tone by Tale of Knives. Now, if you guys wanna check this out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box and no, they are not affiliate links. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!